Proud days for you South Africans everywhere, as some of your countrymen show that South Africa has everything countries in the West have. Fancy cars, smartphones, and good old-fashioned racism. Yep, some South Africans are again blaming African immigrants for their difficulties, and it's turning violent. South Africa's Foreign Affairs Department dismissed claims that Nigerian nationals are targets of xenophobic violence, saying they were nothing more than sporadic criminal incidents. Which is kind of weird because I thought xenophobic attacks were exactly that, sporadic criminal incidents. Otherwise, it would be like saying the burning down of synagogues are just sporadic examples of fire, right? The Tanzanian government has not gone through with its promise to publish a list of suspected homosexuals, with the man behind the initiative, Dr. Kigwangala, citing technical issues. This of course means that the doctor here went to enormous trouble to compile a big list with gay men in Tanzania, but then kept that list to himself? Oh, you saucy doctor, you! And finally, the Cameroon government has been accused of stifling dissent by cutting off internet access to the English-speaking parts of the country. The bloc is heading towards its 50th day now, and the country's millennials are freaking out, man. I mean, these are people who don't know what's popular on social media, so some have had to start having opinions of their own. Damn you, Cameroon government. <laughs>